drop it. Let's drop you laden. Drop you later, man. Let's drop you later. Polo the dawn was popping. Broke so don't ask what up. Mod long, mod let. A med long was popping. NYC nigga, what up? Feelings. Feelings too was populating, my bro. More money was really good. Was goody with y'all. Was goody with y'all. KX, appreciate you on the gate. You heard Goat Lady was popping. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Was good, though. Chilling like a villain. You heard? Anytime television was popping. Move this joint, man. I don't like the game. Let me get, let me try to fix this, man. All right, that's a little bit better right there. Er, Slim Blunt Gang in the building was popping. Was good, was goody, was goody. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro, that community service is way better than that jail, though. I'll tell you that much, you heard? Community service is better than that can. That's a fact. Yeah, I see. I saw that. I saw that champion. Uh, that champion. Um, bubble gum, bubble yum, purchase. I appreciate that, bro. I had that. I had that. I had that hubba bubble on the other day. When I was when I went in the rain to go get that SIM card, and I'm gonna keep it real with you, everything I had in my pocket was dry. I was so soaking wet, and that's that pocket on that shit kept everything, all my money, my cards, everything in that shit was 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 still dry. I was like, wow, you're, I know what y'all doing with them raincoats, champ, but that hubba bubba bubblicious man, I got that in the cut, you're. Straight up, but yeah, man, I spoke to the I spoke to the bro Saquon today. You heard I spoke to son. Son is in VA locked up in in Prince William's Adult Detention Center. You feel me? And I and I recorded son on the line. So you know what I mean? He shouted y'all niggas out. He shouted out the whole gem pop. You know he need that gem pop energy right now. So when when I'm off this live. I'm going to pop out with that Saquon, man. Hopefully, man. I'm waiting for them to approve that joint. I don't know why they taking so long to approve a five-minute joint. They bugging out, but I'm still letting that go. I ain't playing no games, you heard? So, you know what I mean? We still moving out here, man. I mean, I hate seeing one of my dudes locked up. It's crazy how motherfuckers quick to lock up. When you a black motherfucker, man, you be in and out of jail a lot of times, man. And that's a fact. Word up. But yeah, man. Big dice in the building was populating, man. I put down, put in some work today, man. I put in work. I'm not finished putting in work. Now I mean, forgive me if I gotta do an interview with you. I'm doing I've been I was editing all day long today since I woke up at seven o'clock this morning i just been editing and doing stories you feel what i'm saying did some powerful ass story i did a powerful ass story today did i do one story or two stories now i did a powerful ass story today now i mean i edited it down i edited it down a powerful ass story i got heat coming man real serious heat man real serious heat i did a story with a brother today that shit broke me down in tears i'm gonna keep it real with you you feel what I'm saying? Like I had to hang up I had to hang the phone up, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So forgive me if I'm if I'm gonna be putting out that pain. But you understand what I'm saying? Niggas is gonna get that pain, bro. You heard? 
Niggas is going to get that pain. The world is going to get that pain. But that's a fact, though. But yeah, my Negroids. Know what I mean? I would love to drop this new episode tonight, man. Not even the Saquon joint. This other joint that I got. Saquon joint is going out regardless to whom or what. You feel me? But these dudes, man. You know, like I said, it's good sides to having a YouTube partnership and then it's, it's, it's downsides to that shit. Like, you got to wait on them niggas. Like, I don't want to wait on nobody. I just want to bang out. You heard? Bang, yo, boom. That's out, that's out. That's how it be when that partnership is not popping. But yeah, my Negroids. Hold on, let me, let me request a review on this, right, mm -hmm. Quilly? Let me request a review right Quilly knows. Right Quiz knows. You heard? Come on, bro. Request review on that. Bing, bong, bong. Bong, bong, bing. Maybe we get lucky tonight. If not, tomorrow I drop that heat. It's all good. You heard? Shout out to Sydney. Yeah, that turquoise is moving, man. That turquoise is moving. It, it would be the most disturbing motherfucking story. Most stressful and disturbing story that, that starts moving crazily. You heard? As y'all can see, I got my jail specs on. You heard? I got my jail specs on, bro. I'm on my jail shit. You know everybody in jail be rocking specs and be trying to look extra intelligent and and dignified, you feel me? I love I love clear specs, my nigga. Straight clear joints like this. Your your jail shit. Your but nah, man. Let me stop fucking with that jail shit. Jinx my motherfucker so Appreciate that donation, my brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Straight up, I got the lower library specs. You heard Valentinos, lower library Valentinos on deck. You heard? This shit is hard. That's what I'm gonna call these, the Law Library Valentinos. Man, y'all niggas got them Law Library Valentines? Yersk! My yeah, my Negroids. Know what I mean? Word though, man. Yeah, it's Saturday night, man. Saturday night, man. I don't know what the fuck to do with myself, you heard? So, you know what I mean? I want to go to Brooklyn. I wanted to go to Brooklyn all day. I've been saying, yo, I'm going to BK today, film some shit. But once I start editing, that turns into 10 hours, man. Straight up, man. Yo, bro, you know what I mean? I never thought I was good at storytelling. I just tell stories, bro. You feel me? I never thought I was exceptionally good at it. I thought I just told a story like anybody else, but I guess I tell it in a way that people like. There's a few of us, there's a few of us in here in this community. We just got a knack for that storytelling. You heard? Real talk. That's what up, my nigga. I mean, if you spit out there, you rap, you wanna do a collab with me, holla at me. We work something out, you heard? I got that heat, I got them beats, and I got that heat. Word up. But yeah, man, I'm chilling, man. It's Saturday night, man. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Don't know what to do with myself. You know, I don't really have no friends or nothing like that. Like, I don't, I don't really have friends. I don't really have a, a circle of niggas and shit. Like, I don't do that. Like, you feel me? Y'all niggas is my only friends. You heard them, then all my other niggas that is my friends, niggas is in other states and shit, man. So, you know what I mean? It's a good thing, though. I don't hang out with a lot of motherfuckers. I'm good, man. I'm low with it, man. I be dolo, man. Be dolo, low with it, bro. Real talk. I ain't fucking with a bunch of niggas, my nigga. A bunch of niggas be trouble. Slurp. Yeah, bro. But yeah, my nigga Saquon, man, spoke to my nigga Saquon. He locked up in VA right now in Prince William's Adult Detention Center. So if you from VA, you know what I mean? You a VA nigga, 
holla at me. You know what I mean? So I gotta get at my broski, man. I gotta get at my broski, man. Real talk, man. Chris Jones was popping. <laughs> BR, what up? Kano Loco Sports was populating, my brother. If you're a boxing fan, go subscribe to the bro Kano Loco Sports, you heard? Son got the Wild Boxing Channel. You feel me? The bro Thomas was on the boxing channel last night. Dropping jewels, you feel what I'm saying? I was live in the chat. But, I mean, go check the bro, man, Kano Loco Sports. Go check that boxing channel. I fell off with boxing, man. I used to, I used to be on top of my grind with knowing what's going on. But I fell off. I fell off when my man got locked up. My man is a mad boxing fanatic. I mean, my Puerto Rican son, Robert De Niro. You feel what I'm saying? That nigga's a mad boxing fanatic. So, all I got to do is get up with that nigga once a month. He just give me the rundown of the whole boxing world in 20 minutes. You know, our 10, 10 minutes be like, give us 22 minutes and we'll give you the world. That nigga used to give me the whole boxing world in 22 minutes. Like, look, brrr, that nigga told me about Deontay Wilder like four years before that nigga popped off, my nigga. That's my word. He said, yo, you see this nigga right here, Deontay Wilder? He the next heavyweight champion of the world. Watch. He gonna be heavyweight champion of the world. He said, nobody don't wanna fight that nigga. A few years later, I saw that nigga coming up. I said, yo, my son be on point, bro. Straight up, Ninth Power was popping. Baby Grizz was really good. Troy Wright Jr. Jr. was populating. Man, my nigga, my nigga Robert De Niro was on point with that boxing, my nigga. Told you, my son, my nigga Choco that I was up north with, forget about it, son. Nigga Choco that had 15 years in, the one that I said I saw do a thousand push-ups in the bro. Y'all niggas don't believe me, but when a nigga been doing calisthenics for 15 years, you'd be surprised what he could do. You heard, but that nigga did a thousand push-ups straight up. You don't believe me, go, go watch that story. But um, my nigga Choco, that nigga was such a boxing expert. Anytime we watch boxing, that nigga will tell you every single, every single punch landed, nigga. That nigga be like, yo, that nigga landed 26 punches. He landed 28 punches, guaranteed. That shit be precise, my nigga. Son was different. Son boxing knowledge was different. That's a fact. feelings too i appreciate you my brother that story right there is called um i don't know what that story is called man it might be he did a thousand push-ups straight but it's some workout animals or something put in saint lad's workout animals you feel what i'm saying when i'm talking about niggas that work out crazily straight up chacho was populating my bro See you in the Schlilden. Word up, man. Big fella profits was popping. New True was really good. Rome Columinati was popping. My bro Rome Columinati in hand uh, in the, under alias. Yeah, that's that 100 pull-up joint fact. Nigga, big on Butch from Harlem. The bro big on Butch from Harlem. Son was doing 100 pull-ups a clip. That's a fact. I saw son the other day in Harlem, too, a couple of months back. Right after I told that story, too, I saw I saw son. I was like, oh, shit, big on Butch was popping. Son was lifting the whole yard, you heard? Niggas was doing 200 pull-ups. Niggas was doing 100 pull-ups a clip. Niggas was, niggas was wildin', bro. Straight up. Niggas was doing shit like curling 225 and all of that, man, on a long bar. Niggas was taking turns curling 225 on a long bar up north and all of that, man. Niggas was bugging out. That shit ain't good for your back, though. I'm gonna keep it real. Curling 225, that shit ain't good for your back. You might get away with that shit when you young. 
curling 225, but you try to curl some 225 while you in your 40s and all of that, it should have been in the hospital. Straight up. Your lower back will be in the hospital, baby. Trust me. Louis V, I see you flagging that gem pop gang, bro. Appreciate you. Real schlock. Real schlockenstein. Word up. But nah, man, I ain't playing with them. I ain't playing with that 225 on that long bar. Should have had your shit in the hospital. For real, for real. Should have had your shit. Is this car on or off, bro? Shit's so quiet. I thought the shit was off. Word up, my nigga. Facts. Shit, I gotta get me some Yankee Stadium tickets and I need some motherfucking Knicks tickets, man. I mean, it'd be hard to get in that garden, baby. I need some Knicks tickets and I need some motherfucking... I need some motherfucking Yankee Stadium night tickets, too. Ain't nothing like that Yankee Stadium at nighttime. Ooh-wee! Damn, that shit... You ever had a dream? You ever had a dream, like, in your life that that dream was so fucking crazy and vivid... That you never forgot that dream ever in your life. Like, I just said that Yankee Stadium shit. And I just remember a dream I had. I don't know if I had the dream in jail or if I had a dream in the streets, man. But the shit was just a dream about being in Yankee Stadium at nighttime. Some shit popped off. I can't remember what the fuck popped off. But it was crazy, my nigga. But that Yankee Stadium at nighttime ain't nothing like it. Like the Beanie Seagull song, nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it, my nigga. That air, that summer nighttime air. Ooh, wait. Mask One, I appreciate you. I appreciate that donation, my brother. I appreciate that. You heard? Word up. Richard was populating. Where the, where the broad Lele at, man? Lele, you slipping. You supposed to be in here catching niggas. You slipping. Mark Miller, what's popping? Facts, Edgeman, what's really good? Groundsville, what up? Far Rock in the building, what's populating? Yeah, my Negroids. Manny Gomez, I see you in the building. Mike Larry, what up? Yeah, I'm in the cut, my nigga. I'm in the cut like peroxide and iodine, man. Know what I mean? I'm in the cut like peroxide and iodine, man. If a nigga want to come and get this little $30 I got in my pocket, man, listen, man. Nigga, I had this little $30 in my pocket. Yurt! Anything else insured, my nigga. Nigga want to take the whip? Yeah, man, listen, man. I pay Geico a lot of money, man. Them niggas can get me a new wet, man. I'm good. Yeah. Let me keep my weed. I'm good, baby. I got a crazy stick-up story. I was talking about it with a brother today. But I got a crazy stick-up story, bro. You know what I mean? How I got jammed up in a crazy robbery. You heard? I got to tell that shit. It's going to be crazy. I be cuffing stories, my nigga. Know what I mean, I'll be cuffing some stories from y'all just in case it get hectic and I got to just pop up with a wild story. I got some stories cuffed up. Straight up. I'm in the cut like a banger, like a banger in the grass. Facts Media Global was popping. Peace, peace. Sack Cheddar was popping. Yeah, I got the jail specs on, my nigga. Law Library Jail Valentino's on, you heard. I'm on my jail nigga shit. You know what I mean? I got pictures. You see, I got pictures up north. I be, then there, every picture I got up north, I got a pair of specs on. Nigga be thinking, nigga go up north, nigga be thinking he motherfucking, nigga be thinking he motherfucking, uh, 
I don't know what a nigga be thinking. Nigga be thinking he intelligent gangster now. When a nigga be up top, nigga throw the specs on. Like, nah, son, you should have had them specs on in the streets. And you wouldn't have been in jail. But nah, man, y'all niggas never seen that episode, that funny-ass episode of Kirby Enthusiasm. But that nigga was like, I, I've, he was like, yo, I just I find it interesting, but I find the truth that white people will do anything for a black person with a pair of glasses on. Nigga said, try it out. If you don't believe me, try it out. Put a pair of glasses on and watch what happens. Nigga, Leon put the glasses on, nigga, anywhere he go, white people was doing everything for that nigga. Hey, sure, you want get Come in. Sure, come in. Trusting the shit out that nigga. You a black motherfucker, you throw them specs on, nigga. That's the only time a black motherfucker is treated like a human when he got a pair of glasses on. Niggas be like, oh, he must not be a criminal. He has glasses. Y'all believe that shit if y'all want to. You heard? But yeah, my nigga. Them V-Dogs is in the building, though. You heard? But yeah, man. If y'all niggas don't watch motherfucking, if y'all niggas don't watch Kirby Enthusiasm, you don't watch nothing. I'm going to keep it real. Kirby Enthusiasm is the funniest show on television. That's a fact. James Taylor, appreciate you, bro. That's a fact. Rest in peace, my nigga. Murder forever. You heard? My God, murder, man. That's my bro. I miss my bro, man. That dude is the funniest dude in the world, man. Ain't it nothing hurt more than when you lose somebody that, that had a crazy sense of humor. That nigga right there, son, me and the nigga murder, our joking game was different. I'm telling you. <laughs> that nigga laugh, son. That nigga laugh just make me laugh, bro. Real talk. That dude laugh just be making me laugh, man. That dude is fucking hilarious, my dude. Hilarious. Sometimes I'll be listening when I do run across one of his old stories and I'll be listening to that shit. I'll be crying, bro. Nigga be having me laughing. This nigga is fucking funny, bro. <sighs> My fault, man. I've been up since mad early, man. I put in like 12 hours of editing work today, man. I'm tired. Working for the master. You heard? I'm tired working for that master. Master paying me good right now. I got the work. I got the work for they suspend my account again. Until Master take me out the field again, take me out the house again. I got to work. Nah, son. Don't tell me Lay Lay hitting you, bro. Don't tell me Lay Lay is hollering at you, my nigga. Fuck with Lay Lay if you want. Nigga fuck with Lele, nigga end up a nigga wake up in the trunk some motherfucker where nigga wake up in the trunk on a motherfucking on a motherfucking Bruckner Bruckner Expressway some motherfucking where <laughs> Bro to have a nigga waking up in the trunk on a Bruckner Expressway Skibo and them niggas would be driving Straight up. Skibo would be the driver, nigga. Niggas will have you in a trunk. And them niggas will be motherfuckers sipping that Paul Mason in that car with you in the trunk, arguing over what they gonna do with you. You heard? You'll be in the trunk hearing that argument about what they contemplating on doing to your B.O. up Roscoe James was popping Chuck Miller was really good Almighty Joe what up yeah my nigga murder passed away supposedly from, from, from natural causes man you know son did have a couple of health issues and stuff you feel what I'm saying like he had a couple of health issues, man. Know what I mean? So, know what I mean? I don't know exactly what was the cause. And then, you know, son was Muslim, so he was cremated and all of that. 
Shit was, shit was crazy, bro. Shit was crazy. I mean, checking on these videos, see if one of them happened to, happened to be ready to drop, man. It's a rough life. It's a rough life being a YouTuber. Word up. But yeah, man, I'm chilling like a villain, man. I mean, I kind of want to go downtown to Midtown because I know it's live down there. I mean, put in some good film work. You know how I was doing last summer, being at Times Square filming heavy. You know I'm out there again this summer, Times Square filming, filming my head off. You heard? That's what I really want to do, but um. Yeah, man, like I said, bro, you know, got the jail. I got the jail specs on, you feel me? They hide the bags under my eyes, you feel me? Have a nigga looking like a grown-ass father, you know what I mean? Driving, police don't fuck with you, you know what I mean? Law Library Valley's on, man, good valleys, you heard? Throw the good valleys on, man. I remember I had the gold motherfucking Versace joints, man. My cousin gave me them shits. I played myself, I played myself. Get, we lost them shits. Let my, my nigga Sid hold them. That shit turned that nigga to. He started wowing with them shits on. We had the stupid Versace joints. Big gold shit. Specs like. Not shade. Specs. The big stupid gold Versace's on the side. You heard? It's killing them. I got a picture with them shits. I'm going to post that shit soon. Picture with the gold Versace joints, man. You know what I mean? I told y'all niggas, man, I'm gonna be on my Detroit shit when I get some bread, man. Give me a pair of buffs, man. I ain't playing no games, you Be buffed the fuck up like this. What up, nigga? Just pop it. Get them Cartier's. Get them Cartier's. Ice that shit out. You heard? Get them Cartier's. Ice them shits out. Screw up. Was popping. You heard? My son almost, my son almost three years old, baby. You heard Tom flies like a motherfucker. My son almost a Tracy, baby. I can't believe it. Kids be growing up fast, man. You got kids, man. Spend as much time with them. Do things with them as much as you can because two shakes and a step, you going to turn around, your kid going to be 15, bro. You heard them kids grow up fast, man. You got to do shit with them. You got to put that work in. Them years go by quick. <laughs> Straight up. Capo Chef was really good. Yeah, bro, I know dudes from all over, man. So, you know, I may, I may do, I may know some people from Dean Street. You know what I mean? Mr. Funny Man, appreciate you, bro. She's black was really good. Point guard was popping. Re League 187 was really good. So wavy, what up? Yeah, my genies. Judo 101, peace, appreciate you, bro. Peace of the God, appreciate you. Real talk, appreciate them donations, man. Appreciate y'all dudes. Hollering, you know what I mean, with that motherfucking, with them donations, hitting that cash, that cash app up, buying stuff off that genpop.store, I'll be forgetting to promote genpop.store, you heard, if you need that smirch, if you need some good smirch, make sure you go to genpop.store and buy you something, man, shout out to the bro that bought that good champion bubblegum rain jacket today, that shit official, you heard? That's heavy support. I, I appreciate you. Niggas buying stuff off the Gem Pop store. That's heavy support, man. Appreciate you, man. Because I be boy, I got to start pushing this Gem Pop shit harder, man. I, I mean, the store harder, man. I be forgetting. I got too many things going on in my life. I be forgetting to push my own businesses, man. Real talk. But if you out there and you're trying to invest in that Gen Pop clothing line, 
holla at me, my nigga. We get some money. Because shit be moving already, man. It's, and I don't even be promoting shit like that, you heard. But when we really go in, we could really get this guap, you know what I mean? So if you're a clothing designer out there, you know what I mean? And you know, you need an outlet for your designs to be seen by the world, holla at me, man. You heard? Come with your own clothing line. Or we could talk about this gen pop clothing line because I got so many ideas. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, baby. Word up, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, if y'all see that new promo short that I got on the page that I just uploaded, you know what I mean? It's getting ready to get ugly, man. That's all I know, man. You heard? It's getting ready to get ugly on this channel, bro. And that's a flex. You heard? Tone Chi Jackson was populating. Manny Gomez, Shot Town in the building was popping. Like I said, my nigga, a few years ahead, like I said, man, I fell off, man. I fell off with the boxing knowledge. I'm going to keep it real with you. You know what I mean? I fell off like a bad bag, man. I used to be that dude. Same thing with basketball, man, and baseball. I used to be that dude, man. When it comes to baseball, Ruben Sanchez was, was populating. Yeah, I know people from Albany. We got some Albany talk on us on the channel. You heard? Check out my bro Big Dice, man. My my bro Big Dice stories heavy, heavy Albany action, Al Albany action and Albany stories, and Albany information tied up in there, man. You heard? My projects got heavy ties in Albany, man. Like you know what I mean? There's a lot of history in Albany. I remember, <laughs> I remember my son from L.A., my nigga strong, man, my nigga from L.A., that nigga's a funny motherfucker, when, when he came, you know how L.A. niggas is, and New York niggas, we always competing, we always talking about how wild our hoods is, right, so that nigga came, <laughs> that nigga strong, that nigga came, that nigga went to, went to Brooklyn one day, I kept telling son, I said, yo, son, listen, you know, Dykeman, Dykeman is a little laid back, my nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas out here is about that bag. They ain't really about that rah-rah shit like that, like that. But um, every hood ain't like that in New York, son. So he used to be like, yeah, man, you know, niggas talk all that New York shit, man. You're like, you know, this shit pretty, shit pretty laid back out here. I'm like, yeah, son, you know what I mean? Just don't end up in the wrong hood. Man, that nigga went out with somebody, the Albany Projects, nigga. That nigga came to my crib the next day. That nigga was like, yo, Laz, I never seen no shit like that in my life, my nigga. He said, these motherfuckers is shooting in the middle of the street and not even running. Police not even doing nothing. He like, these motherfuckers is wild. I never saw no motherfucking shit like that, my nigga. Nigga was like, yo, that blood shit. He's like, the motherfuckers was deep. You no know, niggas from L.A., they don't, nigga was like, yo, them bloods, he said, yo, man, that shit was crazy, yo, I never seen no wild, I never saw a neighborhood looking that wild in my life, my nigga, that nigga had me laughing, bro, I was like, yeah, bro, that Albany Projects, he went out there at, like, nighttime in the summertime one night, nah, Lord, you don't want to be in there, nighttime in the summer, you heard? So that nigga had me crying, my nigga. That nigga eyes was wide as a motherfucker. That nigga was like, yo, Laz, I never saw no wild shit like that in my life, my nigga. That nigga from Gardena, you heard? That nigga was like, son, nah, man. He said, them niggas was going crazy out there on them blocks. I said, yeah, bro, it'd be like that. Go to Brownsville on a hot July night. Go to Sutter and, and, and Mother Gaston on a hot... Go to the chicken spot on Sutter and Mother Gaston on a hot night in July. And you'll get a real taste. Go to the chicken spot at 1 in the morning in the middle of July. You heard on Rockaway and, I mean, on Mother Gaston and, and Sutter. 
Know what I mean? Go chill over there for a minute. Go in there and order you a <laughs> go in there and order you some chicken. Stroll up in the chicken spot and order you some chicken at one in the morning on Sutter and Mother Gaston, my nigga. And then you will understand what New York is. You know that nigga Mayor de Blasio, you know that nigga named um 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 Rockaway and Livonia the most dangerous block in New York City. I ain't bragging about shit like that, know what I mean? Cause I ain't proud of shit like that. Kinda proud of it, though, but keep it real. Know what I mean? But like, yo, nah. Niggas named um Rockaway and Livonia the most dangerous block in, 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 in New York City, my nigga. You heard? That's a fact. You could look that shit up. Look up a Mayor de Blasio, Rockaway Livonia. You're going to see that nigga footage with him out there and doing a press saying this is literally the most highest crime block in New York City, my nigga. Rockaway and Livonia. That's a fact. That's where they filmed in the, in, in the movie Brooklyn's Finest when Wesley Snipes got shot on the corner. That was Rockaway and Livonia. You heard? That was Rockaway and Livonia, bro. I mean, and that shit crazy, nigga. Yeah, that shit crazy. I mean, it's the last gas station you want to fill up in. <laughs> you don't want to fill up in that gas station on the next to Langston Hughes. I remember one time I was with my man. I was in my. I'm like, yo, son, this nigga is yo. Listen, man, my projects, my projects is not too liked. To say the least, you heard? My hood is not too liked. One day I was with my man and shit. This nigga, we over there by that gas station. This nigga told me, hold on, son. Let me hop out right here and go do something, blah, 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 blah. I said, son, you, you bugging the fuck out, my nigga. We Howard niggas. We can't just be lamping over here, chilling and all. Nah, son. Broad daylight or no broad daylight, son. No. Niggas was wildin', I mean, like, it's serious, I was, I was with my son, I was with my little man from, from the Ville, and he was actively in the hood, I'm a nigga coming, picking niggas up in the hood, and taking them out the hood, but my, my, my man that I was with, my little man, he was an active nigga in the hood, actively out there, that nigga was like this, son, what the fuck is we doing, son, I'm like, yo, this nigga talk about, he got, he like, son, we can't be over here, son, we can't be over here. I said, yo, this nigga bugging the fuck out. I had to tell her, bro, yo, son, look, we can't do shit like that, my nigga. We can't, we can't sit down. We can't park up on motherfucking Sutter and we can't do that, my nigga. This ain't that type of place. You feel me? Man, that shit was funny because my nigga in the back was like, son, son, we, we can't be over here, son. We cannot be over here, son. We are out of bounds. I'm like, I know, my nigga. This nigga talking about he going to help. He going to be right quick. Nah, nigga, hurry up. Hurry up. Because all that sitting in the car shit, you do that shit in Brownsville, nigga. Rest in peace. You heard all that sitting up in the car, park low. Rest in peace, my nigga. You can't do none of that in Brownsville. But now nah, we ain't never, I, I, I learned a lesson from that shit, my nigga. Like, you got to tell niggas immediately, no, no, son. Because, you know, niggas be under their impression sometimes, like, that ain't my beef. Like, nah, it's everybody beef, son. It's everybody beef, son. You know what I mean? Like, it don't matter if you ain't got shit to do with it. It don't matter, son. It don't matter. You hurt? But my little man, that nigga was a young nigga in his tw in his twenties. That nigga was like, son, son, we gotta go, son. We can't be here, son. I'm like, son, I know, man. We out of here two minutes. You heard, but you can't be playing. We can't be playing with shit like that. But yeah, I tell niggas, man, you know, because people bump into me all the time. Oh, you from Brooklyn, right? Niggas see my hat. Hey, you from Brooklyn? He said, uh, Bird, Bird, Brooklyn's pretty nice now, huh? Been gentrified and stuff. Heard it's coming along pretty nice. No doubt, my nigga. You know what I mean? You should go check those condos on Rockaway and, um, I mean, go check them condos on Mother Gaston and Sutter, man. You know what I mean? 
Go over there like 2 a.m. Just take an Uber and hop out. Check, you know what I mean? Check out the real estate. See if it's something you may be interested in moving in. You heard? Send a nigga, you heard? That's some foul shit to do to a nigga. Be like, all right, nigga, nah, say no more. All right, you tough? Nigga, just drive a nigga out to Brownsville. You don't even, don't even do nothing to a nigga. Just grab a nigga up, drive a nigga out to Brownsville. Let that nigga out the car. Put, a, put four gold chains on his neck. With a pair of Jordans. You understand what I'm saying? Put motherfucking four chains on his neck. Pair of motherfucking pair of red bottom sneakers. Just toss that nigga out the car and rock away in Livonia. All right, nigga. At three in the morning. All right, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. You on your own. On a Sunday where the train ain't running and there's a shuttle bus. You heard? Yo, all right, nigga. All right, whatever, nigga. Kick your ass out the motherfucking car. Rock away in Livonia, nigga. 3.30 in the morning. Four hercs on. You heard? No money in your pocket. Be a rap. You heard? <laughs> It'd be a rap. Straight up. Nigga be walking down. Nigga be walking down. Imagine having to walk down the whole. That's a. That sure is a scared. That's a fear factor, bro. Put a nigga on Rockaway and Livonia at 3 a.m. And he got to walk from Rockaway and Livonia to Rockaway and Fulton on the C train. You got to walk from the three train to the C train in a straight line at three in the morning with four big hercs on your neck. You heard? And some red bottom sneakers. Now I mean? Fresh to death. You got to walk from motherfucking Rockaway and Livonia to Rockaway and Fulton, nigga. 3 a.m. cash, nigga. You complete that challenge, niggas give you 50 racks, man. Film that shit, you heard? That shit would be crazy TV, my nigga. Know what I mean? Take a nigga straight from the suburbs of... Nigga be from the suburbs of motherfucking... Who knows where? Nigga be from Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. All right, my nigga. This is your challenge. This is the challenge you must complete. Niggas getting nigga get arrested or something. Nigga get in trouble with the law. Niggas be like, yo, we got a challenge for you. Either you could go to jail for six months or you could do this challenge. You heard? Niggas be like, you got to say niggas throw them big hercs on your shit. Gloop, 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 gloop. Whole lot. Shit, stupid, icy, all of that. Boom, rock away and motherfucker Livonia. Three in the morning, we just kick you out the cab. All right, peace. <laughs> Drive off. You heard? It's a wrap, nigga. You got to get to Rockaway and Fulton. If you could get to Rockaway and Fulton, you don't got to go to jail for six months. You heard? That's the, re that's the reality show. Should be dumb funny, my nigga. Like, now, nah, listen. Listen, my nigga. Either you go to jail for six months or you could wear these four hercs. <laughs> you could wear these four hercs and go sit on the bench in Langston Hughes at 2 a.m. You heard? You got to go sit on the bench at Langston Hughes at 2 a.m. and smoke a blunt with a radio. You got to go on. You got to go in Langston Hughes at 2 a.m. with a with a boom box blasting your, your music, smoking a blunt with three hercs on on the bench like this. You know what I mean? You got to stay out there for four hours. You heard? That shit, that shit ain't even funny, my nigga. That shit ain't even funny, but did it be hell of entertainment? You heard? Go sit on the bench in LH, nigga, at 2 a.m. With a boombox and four hercs on. Smoking a mad, stupid, wild, loud pack. Smoking an Uptown Dykeman loud pack that costs like 80 for eighth. Some next level shit that they got. You like this. <laughs> fuck, fuck is up, niggas. Fuck, fuck niggas you looking at. This nigga won't last 80 seconds out that motherfucker. You heard? The second pull of the blunt, you be like this. Bow, 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 Shit, it be a rap. Second pull of that blunt, you should be a rap, nigga. Word the mother. 
Nah, but I'm going to come out with that reality show, my nigga. It's going to be called 11212. You heard? I'm going to be popping up. This is this is St. Laz, and we're here with Brad from... You heard? We're here with Brad, the IT tech. We're here with Brad, the Apple genius that works in a genius spot in Apple and on 59th Street. Brad says he's tough. Brad, think, Brad thinks he's a true New Yorker, and he's up for every challenge. So we're going to take Brad to Sutter and Rutland Road at 4 a.m. on August 14th. You heard? And we're going to drop Brad on the corner of Sutter and Rutland Road while the trains is disabled. And he must make it to back to the Apple store by morning. The catch is, Brad, you must have this grill in your mouth, this iced out grill, these two big chains, a Nike tech suit, and a pair of rare panda black and white Jordans that nobody has. You heard that nobody can find. Know what I mean? And you gotta rock that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta walk from, you gotta get from the 90s to Manhattan, nigga. Straight up. That should be the most watched game show in America, nigga. This is this is Saint Laz. You, you're watching 11212. We've lost three or four contestants on this show, but we're still going. Straight up, my nigga. We find you know them brave white niggas that be thinking they tough? Find them niggas for that shit, nigga. They could be like, I'm from Australia. We're just not scared of anything. We wrestle and kill alligators. We just, we're just not scared. All right, Australian brother. We going to drop you off a motherfucking... We going to drop you off a motherfucking Roosevelt Projects. We going to drop you off at Sumner Projects. Know what I mean? 1.30 a.m. You got to go play basketball in the park in Sumner Projects, nigga. With your shirt off with three hercs on your chest with your shirt off. You heard? Straight up. <laughs> Nigga said you gotta go to Albany Projects. You gotta go to Albany Projects with an all blue sweatsuit on. With a big radio just bumping that shit mad loud, walking through niggas' projects like this. Grilling niggas. You heard? That's the challenge. You gotta walk through Albany Projects grilling niggas, bumping some loud ass rap, gangster rap, drill music. You're just walking through like this. Fuck these niggas looking out out here, man. Word up, man. Word. Telling you, my nigga. Now I'm going to have to take that all through the old type of hoods. You heard? This is St. Laz. We're in Soundview Projects right now. And we got Josh from straight up. We got Josh from the Louis Vuitton store. His challenge is he's going to wear Louis Vuitton from head to toe. And he's going to walk. He's going to go on the bench in sound view and smoke a blunt. Let's see what happens. Had that nigga with a little camera following that nigga around. Yo, what's up, man? What up? Niggas be like this. Boo, boo, boo. Niggas be dragging a nigga. You heard? Word, though, man. Word. Let me check on these apps. See if they proved anything. I don't care if they... Oh, oh. Oh, no. Nah, they ain't approved shit. Thought they approved something. I thought they approved something. Hurt. Yeah. Tell a nigga, nah, nigga, listen. This is the challenge. You got to go to 149th and Grand Concourse. Tell niggas stop and, and bark on niggas that's playing loud music in the train car. You heard? You hate you catch a nigga playing loud music. You got to be like, yo, turn that fucking music down. On 149th and Grand Concourse. You heard? Niggas going to drag your shit. Niggas going to be dragging your shit all through the subway system.
That should be an instant fight in, 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 the, in the train. Nigga, li nigga listening to this music, man, loud. Nigga be having a pair of headphones on with the headphone upside down so you can hear his music. Nigga be like this. It'd be a 90-year-old lady sitting there that should be like, when the fuck that bitch in the pussy? Now me, yo, I nutted. Me and my man's all nutted in that pussy. Then we came through, it was gushy. 90-year-old church lady sitting next to that nigga. He like this. Waiting for a nigga to say something to him, nigga. Nigga just violating, you heard? Old ladies looking around all helpless. That nigga like this. Then I ran up on this bitch, shot her in the head, came through. Then I fucked her in the bed. Whoa, this that shit. Word. Nigga ain't on the train with nobody. Nigga just talking to himself. Yo, this that shit. Some disturbed individuals in New York in that subway system, my nigga. I mean, I done had to check numerous motherfuckers. Sitting next to my daughter playing music, shit all lewd, Nicki Minaj, whatever the fuck. It's broads talking about sucking and slurping and all of that. Listen, bro, you're going to have to get that shit away from my daughter, my nigga. You heard? You're going to have to get that away from my snorter. You heard? Because you wilding right now, bro. That's New York for you. That's New York. You heard? It's New York. Hey, forget about it. It's New York. Yeah, man. But yeah, broskies, man. You know what I mean? I'm just working out here, bro. I'm working out here. I'm stressed. You no, know, I'm stressed with this YouTube shit now because now nigga got to always worry about these niggas going to suspend my account and all of that. I be stressed. Nigga be stressed, bro. That's all I want to do is make my little videos and get my little money. You know what I mean? That's all I want to do, baby. Pay my little motherfucking bills. You know, take my little kids to Coney Island and Great Adventures. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We about to go to Staten Island Zoo. That's my word. I told my boss, I said, yo, listen, we taking these kids to Staten Island Zoo, man. Because i never been to Staten Island Zoo, my nigga. And I don't want my kids being the type of New Yorkers that they lived in New York all their life and they never went to Staten Island. You heard? So we going to motherfucking Staten Island Zoo, see some good kangaroos and some good monkeys and things of that nature, see how them Staten Island, you know, motherfucking, let's, let's just hope the motherfucking, let's just hope the animals ain't, Nigga say even the animals in, in, in even the animals in in the zoo in Staten Island is guard body. You heard? <laughs> Nigga go see the monkey. Monkey like this. Peace, peace, Lord. Know what I mean, even the motherfucking animals in the zoo in Staten Island is guard body. Nigga, everybody guard body in Staten Island. Nigga go see a zebra. Zebra dropping science. Yo, God, you know I used to be all black like these white stripes. This shit came from the grafting process, you heard? Peace. Animals is <laughs> animals in Staten Island Zoo be like, peace. Niggas don't be making regular animal noises, nigga. You throw them niggas some food, them niggas like, peace. Knowledge, knowledge. You heard? So I'm going to Staten Island Zoo, my nigga. Going to see them god body zebras and them god body, <laughs> them god body llamas and tigers and shit. I'm going to check them niggas. You heard? But yeah, man. Know what I mean? Z-Man Suicide Polo with the ski, man. Like, yo, let me see. Been on here 53 minutes. I've been on here for a quick, good hour or something. And I'm a motherfucking, um, I want y'all niggas to, um, what time is it? Hold on. It's 9.38. It's 9.38. All right, fuck it. I'm going to stay on here to 10 o'clock with y'all Negroids. And then I'm going to drop that joint at 10 o'clock with the guard. What's today? The 4th, right? Yeah, the 4th. Boom. 10 o'clock p.m. Bango. 10 p.m. June 4th. Set that as a premiere. Know what I mean? Smash that. Boom. Yeah. So that's a quick little five minute episode that's going to drop at 10 o'clock where y'all can see the guard. Y'all can hear the guard Saquon. Know what I mean? He locked up right now with motherfucking um, Prince Williams Adult Detention Center in VA. 
You feel me? So if you a VA representer and you rep that gen pop and you feel like being a real nigga. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all niggas. But you know, if you a real nigga, you a real nigga, baby. But Saquon is in VA, man. I mean, they pulled the bro over in VA. He had a bullshit ass warrant. They threw him up in the spot. He got to stay there for a little week, a couple of weeks or something until they get his, until they get this one, uh, see if they're going to come for him for the warrant. Let's hope the warrant is so bullshit. They don't even come from come for son and they drop the charges. You feel what I'm saying? Word up. But at 10 o'clock, y'all be able to hear with y'all own two ears what's going on, man, because I got a little five minute episode dropping with the brother. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, let me see what's going down. Low Bull was popping. DMV in the building for facts. 40 Boom was really. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I miss some people up in here, man. You heard? Douglas Whittington was popping. K Do Blow was really good. Keto Blow was, was really good. Keto Blow. My fault, my nigga. Lips dry as the motherfucking Sahara Desert right now. Moke one was popping. Moke one, what up? Samaj Major was really good. Yeah, man. Jay Brown, what up? QC Key 704 was popping. Bands first was really good. Bro, I just dropped one of my own stories, man. Whole hour and a half joint, the story of Turquoise. If you ain't checked that, go check that. I got another story of my own that's on my phone right now that I got to edit. Now, I mean, that shit is <clears throat> that shit is a great story. So I'm going to be putting that shit out this week. I'm back on it, man. Y'all niggas getting that work. I ain't playing no games with y'all. Brian King was really good. Know what I mean? Yeah, I got some, I got some Queensbridge. I got some Queensbridge shit in action. Trust me. I don't want to drop names, but I got some Queensbridge shit in action, baby. Queensbridge, holla at me. You already snow. You know I'm going to break down some of that history. Real talk. Linston Rickford was popping. I mean, Linston Rick Rickord was populating, my bro. But yeah, my niggas, Rolando Rodriguez was popping. Delaware was popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my nigga. I definitely need to get out to Delaware. Get up in that wild wise, man. Get me a house. How far is Delaware from New York? Like, that shit ain't that far, man. I remember I was driving. Mm -hmm. I seen that shit. I said, damn, this Delaware, right? I think it's right after PA, right? Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? But nah, I definitely got to get out to Delaware, bro. Know what I mean? See what it's looking like out there. See what that house game is looking like. See what them condos is looking like. Know what I mean? Nah, I'm not done with that LG series, mm -hmm. man. Shout out to the bro, Fruquan. Me and Fruquan going in tonight, actually. You heard? But I ain't done with that LG series, man. You know what I mean? We got a bunch of more shit to talk about. You feel what I'm saying? Dumb niggas is going to decide when it's done. Puerto Rican Mikey and Fruit Corner decide when that series is done, mm -hmm. man. Long as niggas got stories, they got to lean on this channel to tell them shits, man. Real talk. Like, it's deeper than just stories. Niggas is peoples. You feel what I'm saying? So the peoples is the peoples. I mean, we on, we on some jail shit, man. The peoples is the peoples. Niggas who you see on this channel, it's going to be the peoples and then, you know... Every once in a while, I introduce a new nigga who I feel got a lot of things he needs to need to get off his chest. But the peoples is the peoples, my nigga. And we gonna always keep this channel popping, my nigga. We gonna always keep it popping, inshallah. You heard? But yeah, man. But at 10 o'clock, that little five minute episode with Saquon drop, you feel me? It's only five minutes long, so it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be up there long enough to get a bunch of views that quick. So what I need y'all to do is when that Saquon episode drop at 10 o'clock, whoever's in here that really reps that yen pop to the fullest, 
I need y'all to drop a free Saquon on the comments. You heard? That's all you got to comment. Say free Saquon on that episode so that shit could get caught up in the algorithm and the comment gang will bang it out and that shit will get some good viewage. You understand what I'm saying? So motherfuckers could know what it is and then, you know, son get a chance to see that. It'll lift his spirits up knowing that niggas in the pop is thinking about him because he definitely thinking about niggas in the pop. Ain't nothing worse than being locked the fuck up. I don't, worse, I don't wish that shit on my worst enemy, my nigga. Fuck that jail shit. I hate that shit. I mean, I really do, my nigga. I hate that shit. That shit. I realize I got a lot of PTSD from jail, like, just for being in that motherfucker, nigga. That shit stresses you the fuck out. The feeling of being a captive. You know, you might have did some shit. You ain't even do nothing like that, nigga. Some bullshit. Niggas want to throw you in the motherfucking Rikers Island. Now, I mean, or some crazy shit like that, my nigga. Like, that's just some slavery shit, bro. Other races don't be going through that shit, my nigga. Other races, they don't easily see the penitentiary like that. You got some nigga niggas ain't never see the pen their entire life. No jail cell, nothing. Central bookings, nothing. But us, that shit be a motherfucking lifestyle, nigga. We, we niggas be in the can, like, fuck it, we in the can. Like, nah, man. I'm tired of that can shit, my nigga. I want to never be... I don't never want to see the inside of a penitentiary, jail, central bookings. I don't want to see none of that shit, my nigga. None of it. You heard? That shit is whack. That shit is whack, my nigga. When you got kids and shit, you know what I mean? You got to tell your motherfucking kids. You... Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, anyway. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Check that story out when I went through Central Bookings, too. I got a story put saying last Central Bookings, you heard? I had just came out of Central Bookings like last year. That shit had me stressed. Stressed. That Central Bookings, I had you stressed, nigga. Doc Kim was popping. Linden Plaza was really good. I got a video with Linden Plaza. I got a video I filmed with you see the whole Linden Plaza in the background. That shit look crazy. Shit called I Wonder. Put in St. Lads, I Wonder. And you're going to see us out there by Linden Plaza. You know what I mean? Shout out to the whole East New York. We having like an East New York couple of months here, man. We got Thomas. We got my nigga Kasim from Cyprus. I got the bro Toucan Sam coming. You know what I mean? Toucan Sam, if you see this, holla at me, man, because... I lost my phone for a week, man. I think I lost a couple of pictures or something, man. Shit had me tight, man. Word up. But two can Sam holla at me. Um, we got Thomas, we got Kasim. Psh, you know, we working on that story of puzzle. Working on that story of puzzle, baby. You heard? That's gonna be ugly. That ain't gonna be how I'm gonna do that story of puzzle. I think I'm just gonna have different people say speak about their different experiences with that dude. You feel what I'm saying? But, I mean, that kids with guns is in is in effect, man. You heard story of puzzle coming soon, man. I mean, we putting in that swerk, man. We ain't playing no games, man. You heard? Rule of equality, peace. East New York, rough buff was popping. Shout out to the whole rough buff. Buffalo, you know I fuck with y'all niggas, man. You heard? Shout out to Rough Buff. Shout out to The Rock. You feel me? If you ain't see that Rochester story I got on the page, put in, go check that Rochester story out. That's fire. Heavy fire. Yeah, man, shout out to Kasim. I got another episode with Kasim, too, I got to put out. That's the bro. We're going to get that shit out. Know what I mean? I know where this channel is going to go, man. I know it. I know it. I know I know who's going to reach out to me. Like, I know the niggas I was locked up with and all of that. As, as the channel gets bigger, more and more niggas I was locked up with is going to reach out to me, man. So, you know, I know where this shit is going to go, bro. You heard? All my niggas ain't even reach out to me yet. When my niggas, when my niggas get wind of this channel, 
And they start reaching out to me, man. Shout out to the bro Twin Glock, man, from Far Rockaway, man. I mean, shout out to Twin Glock from Far Rock. Hold your head, my nigga. I mean, my condolences. Hold your motherfucking head. Stay focused, bro. I mean, it's a lot of niggas behind that wall, bro. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of niggas behind the wall that, you know, they in tune with what's going on and shit like that, man. So it's like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, but I mean, a lot of a lot of my dudes is gonna reach out, man. Real talk, and it's gonna get real ugly. But word up, man! Shout out to Bro Twin Glock from Edgemere. You feel what I'm saying? Far Rock's finest. Now I mean. Shea Splash was populating. Yeah, man. <clears throat> I've been scheming on that story of puzzle. I, that ain't going that that's not going that's not gonna be able to be just one part to that. I mean we're gonna have to tap into a with a lot of motherfuckers about that puzzle situation. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, it's going down. It's going down. That gem pop gear is on gem pop dot store all day, my nigga. You know what I mean? Always and forever like heat wave, baby. That gem pop store is on motherfucking. It's it gem pop dot store is on deck. Now, I mean, the site is being recon, reconfigured right now because it's summertime. You feel what I'm saying? So we're going to put the summer garments up there. You feel me? But, um, yeah, man. That gem pop dot store, go visit that, man. Gem pop dot store, go check that out. Go check the merch out. We got some things up in there. Hats. I be forgetting. I be forgetting about the hats, man. I gotta get one of them Brooklyn Don't Dilute Us hats and one of them C74 hats, man. Rikers Allen hats, man. I don't care, man. Meg. Magnet. But that Gen Pop Dot store, yes. Go check that out. Make sure you click on all see everything. Cause don't just it ain't just what's on the homepage. Click on the motherfucking all of the links and it's going to take you to motherfucking accessories to jackets t-shirts shit for your chick i even got shit for chicks you know we got the gem pop wives merch man i wish i had some time to really dedicate some time to that clothing line though you heard but you know how i am man if i ain't if it ain't a if it, if it ain't a bag involved in the movement you know the movement is slow man when the bag is involved with the movement, everything goes at ultra speeds. You feel me? Yeah, bro. I got a few Australian people watching the channel. You feel what I'm saying? We got some people from the land down under. I come from the land down under. Australia, y'all some different motherfuckers, man. Y'all niggas got animals nobody else on the planet got platypuses and kangaroos and i just got a whole yeah that's a different planet like australia is like a different fucking planet my nigga on god like them niggas got a whole species of animal wildlife that don't exist nowhere else but in australia my nigga like all type of shit that shit is a whole different planet you heard oakland in the building what's popping no the ledge, my nigga. Retention was really good. See you in the building. Jeffrey Force was popping. Yeah, I think I've been up to Spring Valley before. I think I've been up. To, I don't know. I'm not sure, my nigga. I be getting them upstate towns mixed up. But I've been to a few little spots upstate. I ain't never hang out in ups upstate like that like that i'm gonna keep it real only when i was in jail you're but like as far as in the streets i never really been in too many uptake upstate town. i've been in a couple of little spots but i ain't never been you know what i mean i drove up there to go visit niggas in jail and shit and you know i mean linger around the town and shit but as far as like you know running around albany and troy and all of that and utica and all of that you know what i mean i'm green baby Greener than a motherfucking leprechaun when it comes to upstate New York. I got to step my upstate New York game up. You heard? 
I don't go. I go as far as Westchester County stretches after Hartsdale and Scarsdale and all of that. I'm turning back around to the city, my nigga, because I got I told y'all niggas a lot of stories I drop. Y'all dudes ain't really watch like that. Now, I mean, like. I told that story about getting locked up in motherfucking. Yeah, I told that story about getting locked up in Bear Mountain, man. That's why I don't be fucking with upstate New York. I got locked up in Bear Mountain, man. That shit was a horrible experience. So I said, I'm good with upstate. But that's when I had warrants and shit. My warrants is cleared up. You know what I mean? I'm good. Yeah, that story of Thomas Part 3 is coming. Part 3 is gruesome. I'm just giving y'all niggas a heads up. That Part 3 is serious. You heard? Word up, Oakland was popping. A wise man once said, what's really good? I see you in the building, my G's. You heard? I got the up north specs on right now. I'm feeling myself. You heard? But it's still me. I got the up north valleys on. You heard? Law Library. Visit floor valleys. Woo! I got the visit floor valleys. Come through. Visit floor Valentinos. Hit you in the... Let me stop, man, because you know my freestyle is trash. Nigga, I'm going to let it be known. Like Every rap ain't a good freestyler, nigga. My freestyle game is... Basura. You heard? I don't even embarrass myself. Just play your last kick a freestyle. Negative. Negative. Unless you want a comedy freestyle, I could kick a comedy freestyle. Know what I mean? But as far as you want some rhymes to make sense, nigga, I need a pen. Because I'll be saying anything. Come through, hit you with the llama. You and your papa and your mama. Then I roll up some skama. Niggas don't want the drama. I eat, I eat a nigga like Jeffrey Dahmer. Pause. See? This is why I don't freestyle, my nigga. Say dumb shit like that. I eat a nigga like Jeffrey Dahmer. No. No. Yeah, my nigga. My nigga. My nigga in here talking about them Australian jails. I got to hear about those, my nigga. Know what I mean? Nigga in there for robbing seven platypuses. Let me see. <laughs> I was just fucking with you. Nigga got caught with seven platypuses. Nigga, nigga was putting keys in the platypus ass. Smuggling them shits across country lines. You heard? <laughs> nigga got caught putting... You know how niggas got caught putting keys in the dog ass? Them niggas got caught putting the keys in the platypus ass like this. Let's go. Nigga, niggas got pulled over with four, four platypuses with a brick in their ass each. Nigga in that can, nigga. You know what I mean? See, I'm trying not to say shit about kangaroos because that's mad prejudice. That's mad stereotypical. Niggas think as soon as they hear Australia, they just think about a kangaroo. Niggas be really believing them shits be walking around with boxing gloves on and shit. Like, nah, son. Know what I mean? Them kangaroos be fucking niggas up on the internet, though. You put in kangaroo fight, them niggas be whooping niggas' ass in Australia. Y'all keep playing with them kangaroos if y'all want to, nigga. Them shits be putting the beats on niggas straight up. Niggas be playing, tapping their face. Them shits be like, boop, pop, 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 boop, beep, pop, boop, pop. They throw about 50 on a nigga. And they hit you, and they kick you. Then they hit you with the flip kick. Boom! Some good, sharp-ass nails. Man, listen, you be fucked up fucking with one of them kangaroos, nigga. Straight up. Just knock your ass out and throw you in a pocket. Nigga said the COs in Australian jails is kangaroos, you heard? <laughs> I'm just bullshitting with you, son. Nigga said the COs is kangaroos, man. Them niggas don't talk. They just come around. With a CO uniform on with a tail out like this. Watching niggas taking account and all of that, man. Word. Nigga, that's animal cruelty, man. Niggas be putting boxing gloves 
on fucking kangaroos, man. That shit is animal cruelty, man. Niggas should be apprehended for that, man. Fucking with them poor innocent kangaroos putting some fucking boxing gloves on like they know what the fuck boxing is. That's why them shits be whooping niggas' ass. Because y'all be playing with them niggas too much, you heard? But yo, listen, it's 10 o'clock, man. Let's go tune in. I need y'all niggas to hear from my nigga Saquon. Not only in just in the chat, but on the comments. I need y'all niggas to show that love, show that support for that Gen Poppy and that's in prison right now. Being held against his will in jail. Just was free driving a good BMW. Just was cruising down the highway in a good BMW. Now he's in motherfucking in the can. It's just whack, my nigga. So let's go listen to what my nigga say got to say. It's 10 o'clock. The episode is premiering. I meet y'all niggas over there at the premiere. I got my up north visiting room. Valentino's on. You heard I'm feeling myself. Holla at me.